make some guacamole. We're using the jalapeño, we're using a serrano, and we're using a chile de árbol, but we're not using any chile de árbol. We're using a chile de árbol from Yagualica. And Yagualica is this kind of chile de árbol that comes mostly from the state of Jalisco and is really, really packed with flavor at the same time as heat. You can mix and match your chiles. You can play with combining the fresh chiles with the dry chiles, and they're gonna bring in to your dish, to your guacamole, something really different. So I'm adding the zest of a lime, and then we're gonna add the juice. And we're doing this because we're macerating the base of the guacamole. I'm adding the salt, some cilantro, and I'm also going to mix the cilantro with everything in here. This is where you're going to really combine all of these ingredients into a seasoning paste. So you want ripe avocados that are soft to the hold. I don't like my guacamole completely smooth, so I like to mash it like this, but still leave some chunks. If you had only one avocado, you could have done this in the molcajete, but hey. We have many avocados in here. Now I'm adding some mixed tomatoes. I'm just cutting these into two, just like that. It's almost like a, like a tres chiles guacamole and tomato salad, yum. 